I'm Brian Fuller, Editor-in-Chief of EE Times. Join us for this special View from Sea Level interview with TSMC Founding Chairman Morris Chang, who gave the keynote at the 2007 ISSCC in San Francisco. So uh, how about India? Does India look like a desirable place for TSMC to uh, site a fab anytime soon? I think it's very promising also. Just like China, it's uh, probably 20 years behind China. Um, and uh, you, you look at the, the valley, you, you can't help but be impressed by um, the number of um, Chinese and Indian nationals in the semiconductor mm -hmm. industry. And I, I really think that the Chinese came uh, first. Uh, uh, 30, 40 years ago, there was already a lot of Chinese, and the Indians was the, the next wave. Um, and I think that's happening in the national, in the local uh, economy, local Chinese economy and the uh, Indian economy also. Uh, the Chinese were in Silicon Valley first in semiconductors, and the Chinese uh, started their semiconductor industry in China, and the Indians will be the next wave, I think, uh, in 10, 20 years. So they will be there. Let's talk about challenges within the design chain. F the foundries have, uh, as process technology gets more and more complex, uh, and you alluded to this in your speech, the foundries have to take on more and more responsibility for getting the customer out the door in ways that you weren't 15 to 20 years ago. Um, how are you addressing that, and how is that affecting your, your business model as you have to do more of that hand-holding? We have, in the past, found that uh, the big customers didn't need very much help. Um, in fact, uh, you, you could uh, classify uh, customers into three categories. Uh, the IDMs, the Intels, TIs, uh, Freescales, uh, ST Micros, etc. Uh, not only do they need, do they not need any help, uh, they, they, frankly, they tell you to get lost and if you, <laughs> if, if, you, if, if you start even talking to them about design tools and so on. And uh, then the second category of customers is uh, the big fabulous companies, uh, the ones that uh, already have pretty good scale themselves, at least one or two billion dollars of uh, revenue. They, they have uh, been in this business uh, for a while and uh, they know what they're doing. And the amount of help they need from us is uh, relatively, relatively limited. It's relatively small. You know, they, they don't really ask for a lot of help. And then uh, we get to um, the vast class of uh, uh, medium to small customers. It's, it's they that need uh, a great deal of help. Um, now, I think the trend now is that even the big customers will feel that uh, foundries can offer uh, a service that differentiates it from the other foundries. Uh, and, and that service that the, the foundry can offer it is the design service. So I really think that has gotten to, uh, to a point now that uh, even the big customers uh, recognize that uh, they can't really do it by themselves. I mean, it'd be, it'd be good if they have uh, the foundry as their partner. Are you, let's talk about the EDA tool portion of that. Are, are, you, are you finding that you're having to take more responsibility um, in the tool chain? Uh, particularly in tricky parts of the design to get the customer out the door. And what does that mean for the EDA industry, which seems to have, a, have an R&D problem? 
Yeah, I I uh, I think that we'll we'll just have it uh, we have to do it uh, step by step. I think that's uh, we uh, we're working with the EDA industry uh, also, and uh, I, I think here we're not it's not in a um, it's it's not an area where we have uh, mapped very well at all. Mm -hmm. So expanding into other businesses, MEMS uh, is a potentially hot market right now. It's an entirely different manufacturing process, um, one that the foundries uh, aren't typically used to. Is that uh, an area of interest for TSMC to uh, expand into? Yeah, it, it could be big, uh, Brian. We don't know whether it's going to be big or not. Uh, but this is the kind of things that uh, every time they talk about applications, uh, it could use one or two fabs. Uh, uh, and um, uh, if the application materializes, uh, we, uh, we have been working on it uh, actually for several years. And uh, uh, so far, it hasn't materialized yet. But if it does, then it could be pretty big.